Hey everybody, this is Valencia and welcome to my channel Balloons and Business where I show you the business of balloon and event decor. So today I'm going to go into detail on how I made this balloon garland. I'm going to talk about how many balloons I used, the sizes, the clusters, how big I blew the balloons up. I'm also going to talk about how I hung this balloon onto my wall. So if you want to see how I did this, just stay tuned. So the balloon garland I'm going to be making is a fall inspired balloon garland. So I'm using a lot of fall themed colors. So I'm going to be doing like a burnt orange, a dusty blue and a cream color. Fashion black, fashion orange, dusty blue and dusty cream in Sempertex brand. So I'm using a Sempertex brand to double stuff my balloons. I'm double stuffing the black into the orange. And since double stuff balloons can be hard to blow up, I'm first going to use a manual air pump and just blow just a little bit of air in each of my balloons just so I can stretch that black balloon out. And this helps when blowing up the balloons with the electric balloon pump. So I'm going to blow up two balloons at the same time and now I'm going to round them out by pressing the top of the balloon and releasing some air from the bottom. Then I'm going to take the inside necks, which in this case are the black necks of the balloons. Wrap them around two times and then tie them together. So whenever you tie a double stuff balloon, you always want to tie the inside necks. So here's the fashion dusty blue. And I'm going to show you the pattern in which I'm going to blow up my balloons. So I'm going to take two 11 inch balloons and then I'm going to slightly under inflate them to about 10 inches and then tie them together into dupes. Then I'm going to take another two 11 inch balloons under inflate these to about seven to eight inches and tie them together into dupes. Then I'm going to take those two dupes and double twist them together into a cluster of four balloons and four balloons equals one foot for measuring purposes. So I'm going to make another set of cluster where I'm going to take one 18 inch balloon under inflate to 16 inches, one 11 inch balloon under inflate to 10 inches and tie those two together into a dupe. Then I'm going to take two 11 inch balloons and under inflate them between seven to nine inches and then tie those together into a dupe. And then I'm going to twist those two dupes together into a cluster. And this is also going to be equal around one foot. And I'm going to do the same thing to my pastel dust cream balloons. Remember, this is Sempertex brand. I will leave a link to all the information on the balloons that I'm using, as well as where you can purchase them. So now I'm going to take these Sempertex 260 balloons and these are just the long stretchy balloons that you make balloon animals out of. There's many different brands that sell these balloons so you can buy them from anywhere even on Amazon. I'm going to tie the two ends together to make like a rubber band and then I'm just going to wrap a couple balloons in one cluster within the 260. Twist and then take another cluster and wrap two to three balloons in that cluster in the same 260. And this is how I'm connecting my clusters together to make my balloon garland base. So I did two clusters per color. That's how I did my pattern. So I had two clusters of the burnt orange, two clusters of the dusty blue, two clusters of the pastel cream. And I just went in that order. And that's how I made my balloon garland base. And you can make it as long as you want. Remember, one cluster equals about one foot. So you can use that as a measuring point. And then once you measure it to your backdrop or whatever you're using, you can just add clusters accordingly. Make sure you put that 260 around at least two to three balloons per cluster. You want a nice tight fit and try to put it around the 11 inch balloons or the more under inflated balloons because it'll be easier to fit more balloons in the 260 if they're smaller. So when I was finished with my balloon garland base, I connected together 12 clusters, which is about 12 feet for measuring purposes. So to attach my balloon garland to my wall, I'm going to take a command hook and painter's tape. You want to use painter's tape, not 
uh, duct tape or anything like that. Painter's tape is used to go on your walls when you're painting so that you won't, you know, damage your walls. So you want to use painter's tape. So you're going to use the H method for the painter's tape. So that's two pieces on the side vertically, then two pieces at the top and bottom. And then for extra security, I'm going to put two pieces going kind of diagonally in each direction so actually i'm doing like a double h method to be really honest because you want this to be on nice and secure and that's a 260 balloon and i'm just going to tie it on the hook and just make sure you tug it to make sure it's nice and secure and it's not going to come off So you just want to take that 260 and wrap it around the balloon garland and then tie that end of the 260 to the other end of the 260. So you're just tying the ends together. So I connected this balloon garland to the wall at two points, but I will eventually connect it to a third at the very top. So, so far I have the 12 clusters at 48 balloons, 6 18 inch balloons and 42 11 inch balloons. So now I'm adding clusters of four using those 260 balloons and you can do it two ways. You can tie one end of the 260 to the cluster and wrap the other end of the 260 around a few balloons in the pre-existing garland and then tie the 260 into itself. Or you can do that rubber band method that I did earlier and just tie the ends of the 260 together to make a rubber band, wrap it around a couple balloons in that cluster, and then wrap that 260 around a couple balloons in the pre-existing balloon garland. You can use either method. And honestly, if you wanted to use actual large rubber bands, you could do that as well. I prefer 260 balloons because I think they're more flexible I feel like you could fit more balloons in them. So now I'm adding clusters of four onto the balloon garland base to thicken it up. Now the bottom cluster with the cream balloons, I added three clusters on there because I wanted to make sure it touches the floor and spread out a little bit. But the rest of the clusters, I only added on an additional one cluster. So when I started adding clusters onto the top of the balloon garland, it made that top portion start to fall. So I just added on another command hook to make sure it was secure. So I added on a total of eight clusters and I'm showing you where I added them. And this balloon garland has a total of 80 balloons with 32 extra balloons added. So I decided to thicken this balloon garland up some more. So I added some more clusters. I know that sometimes on camera, the balloon garlands actually look smaller than what they look like in real life. So I wanted it to look fuller. So I added on an additional four clusters, which is an additional 16 balloons for 96 balloons total. Now I'm blowing up my five inch decorators with a hand pump. I'm just pumping two times and tying the balloons together into a dupe and then twisting two dupes together into a cluster of four. Then I'm gonna cut my 260 balloons to save on material. Tie one end of a 260 to a cluster and then wrap that other end around the balloon in the balloon garland, then tying the end of that 260 into itself. So the ratio that I'm adding these clusters in is, you see that this balloon garland is color blocked. So for each block of colors, I'm adding in two clusters of five inch decorators. So this is the finished balloon garland with 144 balloons total. 
24 clusters of the 11 and 18 inch balloons and 12 clusters of the 5 inch balloons and that's how many balloons of each size that I used. And another thing to note that this balloon garland went from 12 feet to 24 feet. Because remember, as I discussed before, each cluster of bigger balloons equals about one foot. So for pricing purposes, this would be a 24 foot balloon garland. Those are dry palm leaves, which I'm adding to the balloon garland to give it more of an autumn fall look. And here is the finished product to my fall themed balloon garland. All information on where I purchased these balloons and the palm leaves will be in the description box below this video and will be pinned to a comment at the top of the comments. So if you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, go ahead on and like it and please subscribe and you'll get notifications on future videos on balloon and event decor. And until next time, I will see you guys later.